Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here today to check out a Patreon request on this Throwback Thursday from this patron right here. Ask us to check out Shit Empire Slumbering Giant. I think it's Slumbering. Yeah, Slumbering Giant. Now, this patron is the same one that requested Shit Empire before, and Shit Empire before that, and Shit Empire before that, and I think one more time before that. Before wow. we even had Patreon. I have, a, I have a slight feeling that they really like Shit Empire. Uh, either that or he's, or he's in the band. Maybe. No, no, he's uh, he's not in the band, but uh, he's a huge fan of these guys. I yeah. mean, we we discovered these guys because of him, and I f I guess he felt like it's been a very long time since the last time we've checked out one of their tracks, so perhaps it was time. Now this song is not very old. It's not like it's twenty years old or or whatever. It's it's not like really throwback throwback, but it's old enough that I can throw it uh, on a Thursday. Okay. All right, you ready for this? It's yeah. a lyric video. All right, let's do this.
right, I'm gonna let you go first. I have a couple of things to say, but I'm gonna let you go first. What, what are your thoughts? Well, that was very bombastic and very evil in a way, but I, I really enjoyed the, not enjoyed, but it, it caught me, it caught my attention. The start of the song, that, that sound at the start of the song kind of reminded me of the, the movie It. It kind of reminded me of like that creepy sound in, the, in that movie. And, uh, wow, that it's true. Now that you're mentioning it, now I can see, I can see that. Okay. Yeah. So the whole song had this like creepy yet very cinematic, bombastic um, feel to it. Okay. So, but let me ask you this. I felt. How can I put? I'm trying to think of the right words here, but I I, I felt that the track could have even been better. And what I mean by that is that I, I felt the the symphonic elements that the track had were a little bit overpowering when you compare it to how the vocals sounded. And let me explain this. If you have uh, somebody who is gonna sing and, and it's gonna have like a light voice, like a Floor, for example, or Taria with Nightwish or, or uh, Epica or Delay, any of those bands, specifically bands that have a female uh, singer who's gonna go like almost opera-like. Yeah. You can, in the mix, you can have the symphonic elements being loud or being like present because their voice, the power that their voice has, the range that it has is going to go over it. Yeah. So you need them to be... Almost you, neck and neck. Exactly. Because, uh, because you don't feel it. Because their voice is so powerful, it goes so far... That, that it pushes beyond it, that you don't even feel like the symphonic elements have it's that... overpowering. Exactly. But when you have uh, uh, harsh vocals, deep, harsh vocals, it's a problem. Because the symphonic elements are pushing the song this way, and the harsh vocals are bringing the song this way. So the gap that exists between the two, it becomes huge. Huge, yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? It just builds this huge pit between one and the other. So at times, when the vocals were not on the track, and, and by the way, this is almost an instrumental track, there's vocals at the beginning, vocals at the end, in the middle, it's just absolutely magnificent. This is the best Shit Empire track that we've done on the channel, it, at least for me. Yeah. Uh, I just love the sound. I just love the, the whole, atmosphere that yeah, it has. Yeah, the whole atmosphere of the song. I love it. But when the vocals come in, I felt like I wasn't getting enough of the vocals. They were getting drowned out by the, by, by the symphonic elements of the track. Because the symphonic elements of the track, like you said, are very cinematic. They're pushing the track to the stratosphere, and the vocals are going in the opposite direction. They're going down. So for you to have presence of the vocals, for me to to really feel like the the vocals are not in the driver seat of this song. The vocals are not pushing the song. The symphonic elements are pushing the song. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I would have liked the symphonic elements to be a little bit below. The vocals. I want the vocals in the forefront. Give me more volume on the vocals. Uh, push them more to the forefront and decrease a little bit of the volume of everything else. Bring it down so that it, the song feels like the vocals are the one pushing it forward. And those symphonic elements are there to give atmosphere to the track, but not necessarily becoming the track. And right now, the way this song comes across to me when I listen to it, I love it, but I feel like the vocals are, are getting lost within overall that, that soundscape that the track has. Because it's so bombastic, it's so over the top, the vocals feel can't down. Breathe. They can't. They can't. The, 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 the balance is not right. You have to keep, you, in my opinion, when you're putting a track together, you need to keep these things in mind when you're constructing the track. You have to make it balanced. You have to make the track balanced so that everything, so that you don't feel like there's one element... That's out of place. That's out of place, or, or there's one element that's overpowering... The others. The, the others and everything else. You know what I mean? Like, it, his vocals are going downwards and the sound is going upwards. You need to try, to, try to, to bridge that gap and try to meet as close in the middle as possible. You don't have to worry as much, like I said, if it's a female singer or a guy like Giannis Papadopoulos who can go, like, over the top. It's fine. And then you don't have to worry because his voice is going to surpass everything yeah, else. But when it's a lower voice, you can't really do that. When it's, when it's a lower voice, you can't do that because then the 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 pit that you're building it becomes so wide, so wide. There were certain parts of the song you hear his voice because his voice has presence. Don't get me wrong, but it's not it's it's not what's pushing me forward with the song. I'm not driven by it. 
it almost becomes secondary. And, yeah. and, and when you have a track that is this much instrumental, you need to make the vocals count when they're there. You need to make them count. So I, I just feel that way about it. Maybe I'm being overly critic, but uh, I, you know, I mean, that's what we're here for, is to give our opinion, right? Yeah. So that's, that's how I look at the track. Having said all of that... The song was good. This is my favorite one that we've done on the channel from these guys. I really like this band. In this song, I love the atmosphere that the song has. I, I love their sound. It's some, somehow creepy, but yet lifting. it lifts you up with all that... It's, uh, it's almost like a soundtrack like of, a, of, a, of, a, of a, uh, like a horror series. Yeah, like a horror series. Like they're running away and that's where it starts yeah, picking it's, up it's, in pace. Exactly. It's, it has this cinematic feel. I, 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 like I said... Having said all that that I did before, this is still my favorite song that we've done. And that's not to say that I didn't like the other ones, but this one, from what it has to offer, it's it's it, man, it's it's a meal. There, there's a lot going on, and I love the instrument. Uh, the 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 vocals come at the beginning, at the end. That that portion in the middle was just instrumental, instrumental, just atmospheric. Man, I love that. It was absolutely magnificent. And before we go, we have to give a shout out to the drummer because whoever the drummer is. The guy, outstanding. He puts in work. Outstanding. I, I think if there's, besides of the cinematic feel, like we both agree that the track has, if there's one thing you take away from this song is how good the drumming the is. The machine gun of the drums. On this track, the drums are relentless. Relentless. So much power, so much strength. And not overpowering the track. This is what I'm talking about, keeping things balanced. It's important. It's important for you to be able to hear all the different elements, but they all come in with equal amounts. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you, you need that. You need that, you know? It doesn't matter how good of a cook you are and how good of a recipe you are. If you put too much salt, it ruins it's too everything. Much salt. Yeah. So that's how I look at it. All right, guys. This is it, right? Yeah. This is it for this Throwback Thursday. Come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See ya.